Hi everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. I hope everyone's fabulous. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Sagittarius, it's time. It is time for your Julian New Year reading. And just in case you're wondering what a Julian New Year is, well, a few hundred years ago, we switched from the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar. And under the Julian calendar, New Year's was celebrated the last week in March. And now we celebrate the last week in December. But mm, neither here nor there. Mm, I'll get further into that little history lesson when Neon and I do our live reading for the change in the zodiac here on March 31st. Yeah, it's shortly after Aries season starts, but it's the next Tuesday that her and I hopefully both have available because I told her not to make any freaking plans. So, and yes, my son will be here because um, all schools in the state of Michigan have closed for the next three weeks, but he'll be off in the living room doing his thing. So, and we'll be back here in the space doing ours. So, we'll have the table all cleared off. Probably have the camera a little bit different angle, and it's just going to be a good time. So, hope you guys can join us. Anyway, this reading will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It is your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate with you, which it might not, it's not going to resonate with every Sagittarius. Just toss it, forget about it, pretend it didn't happen. We're really good at that. So, <laughs> you shouldn't have a problem with if it doesn't resonate with you. Or go check your moon rising your Venus signs. Whatever you want. It's not my journey. It's yours. I'm not going to twist your arm. I'm not going to tell you how to live. Because I know I don't appreciate that crap when people do it to me. So, okay. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. Okay. One... Two, three, la, 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 la. Sagittarius. Judgment upright and the Knight of Cups reversed. Hmm. Closing out of an old cycle, perhaps. Ringing in the new year with that. Possibly a cutoff in communication. Could be a water sign you're dealing with. Could be some mixed messages in there. What were you supposed to take out of last year? Three of Swords reversed. Still coming out of a little bit of a heartbreak. Are we still shaking it off? Is that what we're doing? Could be. What was your shining moment? Four of Cups. We're going to get clarity on this. Because I refuse to believe that Sagittarius' shining moment was looking back at the past and not seeing what the universe was trying to hand us. I refuse to believe that. What'd you have to let go of? Four of Wands. Hmm. Celebration. Let go of an open door. Possibly a twin flame connection, if that's your thing. It's not everybody's thing. Not everybody believes in twin flames, so whatever. <coughs> Pardon me. Still got that dry cough thing going on. No, I don't have the coronavirus, and that's the last time we're bringing it up. What can you expect from this year? Ace of Swords, new communication. Possibly with an air sign person, doesn't have to be. What's the challenge for this year? Ten of Pentacles. Might be work-related. Might be family-related. Might be money-related. 
stacking coin, earning bread. Maybe some of you are saving up for a house. How do you overcome this challenge? Nine of Cups. Okay. Filling your cups with the right things. Finding emotional fulfillment. Again, we're going to get clarity, so I'm not going to babble too much until I get clarifiers on the, on the table here. What is the focus for the transition as Pisces moves into Aries? The Hermit. Could be a Virgo you're dealing with. Again, doesn't have to be. Introspection. The focus is going within. It's not something we enjoy doing, I know. We just soon forget about it. How do you handle this transition? Six of Wands. Okay. Finding victory. I'm going to leave that till the end. Mm, we're going to clarify with the Witch's Tarot. Heavenly Father, Mother of Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides and Earth Angels, Universe Source Spirit. Can we get some clarity on the cards on the table? For Sagittarius, for their Julian New Year reading, please. One's reversed, five of cups reversed. Yes. Pushing down the walls, coming out of the state of sadness. Focusing on the blessings. I still don't like that Knight of Cups reversed. Why is the Three of Swords reversed here for what Sagittarius was supposed to take out of last year? The Lover's reverse showed itself. It didn't work out. You're still shaking it off. One more. You may have disconnected with some soulmates. You may have had to let some people go. Queen of Wands. Oh, yes. You are the Queen of Wands, aren't you, Sagittarius? You still have your fire. Very intuitive we are. Some of you may have found you again. Found your passion. You know your worth. That's awesome. I didn't say the words, but I thought it. Six of Swords. Why is the Four of Cups here for Sagittarius' shining moment?
Hmm, the shadow side and the six of swords. Oh boy. Some of you may have looked back at the past and realized that some of it was toxic connections and you move forward from it. I'm going to get one more on that. I don't like that. One more. Possibly someone you were dealing with couldn't see what you were trying to hand them. Take that however it resonates. Eight of Swords. I think some of you came out of your cage. I think some of you had been so consumed by something. that you finally reached for that cup. Could be. That's awesome. Why is the Four of Wands here for what Sagittarius had to let go of? Thank you. Whoa. Page of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Three of Pentacles. Some of you may have called off a wedding, possibly at the last minute. And I see the Four of Wands and I think wedding, I don't know why. The foundation wasn't stable. Three of Pentacles reversed. It wasn't there, but it, it was shaky. Is, wasn't quite coming together right. Some of you may have heard things that you didn't want to hear. If someone was dealing with a dishonest person. I think you went with your intuition. You had to let go of something because you knew it was time to let go. It wasn't quite right, and you knew it. Okay. Enough about that. Why is the Ace of Swords here for what Sagittarius can expect from this year? Queen of Cups reversed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You want to talk. Two of Cups reversed. Oh, come on. One more. Come on, I need good news for Sagittarius, please. Um, I dropped it. I don't think that one came out on its own. Thank you. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Well, shoot. Okay. Could be an air sign, water sign, or earth sign person. 
whatever. Ticket over resonates. Something new, communication. But I don't think the feels are going to be mutual. I think the person you're dealing with might be slightly codependent. Possibly. And it's not going to come together because someone is a little bit codependent. I know there's something Sagittarius's can't handle. It's feeling smothered. <laughs> I know I personally can't handle it. It's like, I like you, but you need to slow your roll. I totally feel that. The feelings may not be mutual. Okay, what is the challenge for this year? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for the challenge for the new year? Queen of Swords, okay. She's smart, she's beautiful, she's honest, she's logical. She can cut your head off with one swoop. The High Priest fell out, okay. One more. One more. Thank you. Eight of Wands reversed. Someone may try to make a return. Or hit a fast forward button. For some of you. For some of you, there may be a cutoff in communication altogether. There may be some shakeups in some family situations, maybe some shakeups in some marriages. Oof. I don't like that. All right. How do we overcome this challenge? Thank you. And when it finally lands, it is in the reverse. Hmm. Fill your own cup. Don't water a dead house plant. That's sound advice. Eight of Cups reversed. Don't look back. I heard don't look back. The moon. Okay. Oh, I love the moon card. You're not supposed to have all the answers. Things will be revealed to you when they're supposed to be. Could be a Pisces you're dealing with. throw one more on that. Gosh, that's a lot of clarifiers. Why is the moon here? Seven of Swords. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. There may be some shake-ups because someone's not being completely honest. So, your job, Sagittarius, is to sort out the truths without overthinking it. I don't think we overthink anything, do we? I know I have a tendency to overthink things, but I don't think that's the Sagittarius aspect of me. It could be. I'm not sure. I think that's my Libra, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. Strange. All right. 
Why is the Hermit here for Sagittarius' focus during the transition from Pisces into Aries? Why is the Hermit here? Thank you. Knight of Swords. Little Sherlock Holmes. And when it landed, Knight of Cups. Oh, yes. Messages, messages, messages. Quick, non committal. <laughs> I just heard some of you could be dealing with an air sign person or a water sign person or having to choose between them. That takes introspection for whoever that's vibing with. If that's your story, that's your story. I don't judge. Okay. One more on that. You didn't flop out. Tower reversed. Ooh. Some of you may still be trying to rebuild. I think for some of you, the dust is finally settling and you're ready to come back into a situation, couple situation again. And I think some of you need to introspect and decide whether you're not ready or not. Because if you're torn between two, um, it's really time to decide who you want to build the tower with. This is what I'm hearing. This is what's popping into my head, so this is what's coming out of my mouth. I don't know if it's resonating with anybody. How do we handle this transition as Pisces moves into Aries? Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Hi! King of Wands reversed. Slow down. Ten of Cups. Very nice. Give me one more. Very nice. I love it. Oh, oh, oh. And I just dropped a bunch, but I'll pick those up. How do we handle this transition? You've already won. 
This is your victory dance. You rediscovered you and acknowledged your worth last year. You let your intuition guide you. What you need to do is focus on, slow down, focus on what's important. Family's important. Put your focus on the happy ending. Manifest your happy ending. Death reversed in the Six of Cups. Accept change and take the happy memories with you. I'm going to say it again, it wasn't all bad. It wasn't. There was good stuff, too. Some of you may have a soulmate returning. I have a bunch of return cards here. It happens, it happens. Take it however resonates. Okay. Let me look at the bottoms of the decks. Eight of Swords reversed, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Don't get all wrapped up in trying to find a relationship again. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Because that just leads to codependency. Move. Just put it out of your head and... Lay it at the feet of the universe, if you will. And don't ever forget what you're worth. Three of Wands reversed, Two of Swords reversed, the Four reversed, and the Eight of Wands in the upright. You have to trust yourself. You have to take the blindfold off. Three of Wands reversed and Eight of Wands in the upright. For those of you who have been waiting at the dock, don't wait anymore. Just walk away from the dock. Walk away from the dock and move forward. There's definitely communication coming in for some of you. Okay, and this one, sun reversed in the nine of swords. Do not allow this to consume you. Do not allow this to take your happiness away. Five of Swords. Accept change. Pick up the pieces. The Magician, the King of Cups reversed, the Seven of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. Yes. Manifest what you want. Be extremely careful doing it. Positive vibes. Positive things. Don't emotionally close yourself off. That's not going to help anybody. Take control back. Don't let it get all out of control. Manifest what you want. Be in charge of your journey. And again, oh, the Queen of Pentacles. I love the Queen of Pentacles. She's awesome. She knows her worth. She don't need anybody else's pentacles. She's got her. And you have to have you. 
Sagittarius, thank you so much. You guys have been our biggest supporters here at Fireside Tarot. I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. You've been so patient with me in my recovery. And I'm going to get there and we're going to make year two the best year ever here at Fireside Tarot. I love you guys. Love you to bits. Don't forget to come catch us on the 31st. We will announce that time when we know what time we're doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist your arm. Um, if you're in need of a personal reading, I'm wide open for that. I have one in the pipe. So come on down. Send us an email. Leave a comment. If you just want to talk, I'm open to do that too. I mean, other than working 50 hours a week, doing the readings, and raising my kid, I got plenty of free time. Yeah, okay. I love you guys. Namaste, and we'll catch you next time.